If anxiety or apprehension is preventing you from achieving your goals in 2021, remember the four B's. Dr. Stephanie P. Took, a psychologist with North Memorial Hospital, recommends breaking down your goal into concrete details. You want to make sure it's attainable, you have the resources to be able to accomplish it. If you want to exercise more, if you apply a SMART goal, you can be specific. Okay, I'm going to take my spin class. I'm going to do it on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm going to do it for at least 20 minutes. I can see whether I did it or not. It's measurable. Did I do it? Did I not? Maybe I did two out of three. The second B, bundle up. Connect your new habit to an existing one, something as automatic as brewing coffee. A lot of times we think, oh, like 20 minutes to sit and meditate or breathe. I don't have time for that. I say, that's not realistic. Let's tether it to something you're already doing. While you're waiting for your coffee to brew, take the time to just take some deep breaths. B number three, buddy up. Sometimes, you know, you're someone that needs a cheerleader. Other people need a buddy that's like a workout partner or someone who's in a journey with them. The fourth and final B, anticipate your barriers. Let's say I want to have implement a, a regular workout. What are my barriers? I have a toddler who sometimes gets up at five o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning. And so all of a sudden my plan to exercise at 5.30 is foiled. What's my backup plan with exercising? A common recommendation is put your exercise clothes out or even go to bed wearing your workout clothes because that's just one less barrier for you to get up and get moving. It is important to have goals. All right, here are two bonus Bs. Believe in yourself, and this is my favorite one, be kind. Dr. Pitook says it's important to be kind to yourself and know that it's a learning process. And even when you struggle, there's a lesson in whatever your struggle was. That's right, though.